East Coast Elk Reviews. Today, we got another beer review. This is Tasty Hazy IPA India Pale Ale by 21st Amendment Brewery. It says seasonal release, 35 IBUs. Isaac's got beer advocate pulled up here. So on beer advocate, it is a 80, a very, uh, it's very good. The style is an IPA uh, Indian Pale Ale, uh, it's American. Uh, ABV is 6.8. Uh, it's uh, from that says 6.8. 6.8. The can says 6.7, so we're gonna go by the can. Okay. Oh. Huh. Okay. They it happens like that sometimes. I don't know why. Maybe yeah. it's like 6.75 or something. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it's from Twenty First Amendment Brewery. It's from California, United States. The note says uh, last year. Availability is what rotating slash seasonal. Yeah, rotating yeah. slash seasonal. So last year we partnered up with the home brewer extraordinaire Mike Tasty McDool to collaborate on a delicious limited release beer that we call Tasty IPA. The beer came and went far too fast and since then we have all been craving another Tasty. Cheers, cheers so we decided to bring it back for good. All right. So, uh, can art is a little weird. <laughs> it's, uh, what, Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, it's Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> and he's got some, uh, hop cones on his nipples. Let me just, let me just get close because I sound like a weirdo saying that, but he literally has hop cones it's, on his nipples. It's funny, the one in Beer Advocate is completely It's different, different, the can? I mean, it's slightly different. It's some different guy. I mean, look at that. Yeah. I mean, there's hops on his nipples. Maybe that's the guy, but they changed it to Benjamin Franklin. Oh, yeah, maybe that's Mike McDool. Yeah, but they were like, yeah, I'm yeah. a little uh, weirded by this guy. <laughs> and cool. his is literally like, yeah. see, Benjamin Franklin is wearing pants, and that guy literally has hop cones on his... Uh, yeah, he has, has underwear yeah. and on his, you know, nipples. like a bra and underwear, pretty much. Yeah, Benjamin Franklin's got at least pants and shoes on. <laughs> and shoes. <laughs> and shoes. That guy's like completely naked. Yeah. Hey, you want to pour? Yeah, sure. I poured the last two. So, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of hazy IPAs. I do love me a nice New England IPA. Is this a New England IPA? Oh. Uh, what did they say was the style? I don't. It said IPA American. Oh, so technically it's probably like a hazy West Coast style hazy? Yeah, it's from California. I would oh, so. so I'm guessing it's a West Coast style yeah, hazy. Yeah, I would assume so. I don't know why this isn't working with me. All right. Oh, oh my bad. There it's we go. All abuse. All right, so uh, hazy straw color. It's not as hazy as most hazies. No. But it does have a little bit of haze. It's not really a chilled haze. It's got a little bit of haze. Um, I don't really see any sediment. You can say kind of like a slight hazy straw color. Definitely not as hazy as the New England hazies. Foamy, well not, eh, white head, slightly foamy. Um, looks like it's going to leave a nice little lacing on the glass. I can smell it from here. It's about a finger ahead, half a finger ahead. Looks pretty good. Definitely looks like your West Coast style hazy. Let's go for the nose. It's got a nice tropical aroma. Tropical, sweet, uh, citrusy. Ooh. Ooh, that smells good, dude. I'm getting pineapple, uh, mango. Yeah, definitely tropical. A little bit of lemon, orange. Ooh. Nice little bit of hot resin, breadiness. And it's weird that this is, uh, a, a, you know, it's advertised as... Uh, you know, all the hops, right? I mean, it has this flag here, too. I didn't notice that. Yeah, well, it's a hazies. Usually, hazies are a little bit more on the fruity, tropical side rather yeah. than hop so that's forward. What it is. Okay. Yeah, and I'm getting a big tropical note on this, man. Yeah, you don't and pick up the hops so much as you pick up the tropical aspect. Of big it. mango, pineapple notes. Yeah. Citrusy, like I said, lemon, orange. Nice little bit of hop resin. Wow. Nice white bread. Ooh, this smells good. It smells juicy. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It smells really good. Anything else you want to say? Um, pretty much I just pick up on the uh, the tro tropical aspect. The tropical? And, yeah. The tropical. <laughs> and, and, and I, I do pick up on hops a little bit, but they're not 
as standing prominent. Out. Yeah, they're not standing out. Like yeah, oh, this aspects. smells good, dude. You know I like hazies. Yeah, yeah. I... Oh, this smells like it's going to be a juice bomb. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, there's the hops. Yeah, right? What is, what is this on the IBUs? 35. It's actually not that many IBUs, but it's got a nice little hot bite. It's got a nice little hot bite. Definitely finish. It actually has a nice tropical lingering aftertaste. Up front, I'm getting that pineapple mango. Maybe a little bit of guava. It's nice and citrusy in between. Lemony. A little bit of, there's actually a decent amount of breadiness. Carbonation's about medium. Mouthfeel is about light to medium. It's actually kind of light for a 6.7%. It's really good. Super drinkable. Very crisp, clean, refreshing. Yeah, those hops. Um, yeah, it's got a nice citrusy hop finish. Yeah. Maybe even like a little bit of grapefruit. Definitely very tropical up front. What do you think? Uh, I don't well, want to sit here and throw flavors at you. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, you pretty much explain. hit them all, right? The other ones I was testing on these. What really stands out for me, you picked all my stuff, some stuff that I wasn't able to really uh, taste. But uh, the, the tropical uh, uh, the tropical taste, the hops, and the breadiness, that's what I taste. Yeah. It's really good. You looking for an IPA, this is what you're looking Usually, for. Usually... Hazies have a little bit more of like a creamier mouthfeel. This is a little bit more on the lighter side, but you're still getting that juicy, citrusy flavor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you said, that, what's the price on this? Oh, I got it on the discount one. So, I don't know. so it's probably like, here, it's probably like, Eight nine dollars for a six pack. Yeah, or something probably. around there. It's probably not a great price. I mean, an eight nine dollars isn't bad, but I'm not seeing anything on beer advocate. Yeah, so we don't know the actual price on this. If you guys know the price, leave it down below. Let us know. Um, mm -hmm. I do enjoy it. It definitely hits all the notes of a hazy, but it's not as big of a mouthfeel. It's definitely not as juicy and tropical as, like, let's say, Bat Squatch uh, or some of the other hazies that I've had. It definitely has a good amount of citrusy flavor and a nice hop resin dry finish like you would get with most West Coast style IPAs. But this is a good combination of the two. You're getting your juicy, citrusy, fruity flavors from a hazy but you're also getting a nice hot present finish, um, fruity, that you would get with the West Coast. Um, I enjoy this, this is really good. Um, so yeah, like I said, we don't know the price. I'm gonna let you read it, recommend it first. Ooh. All right, one second. So with this good, I can see why you went through that six pack quick. Oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> but <laughs> without, uh, putting a price into this, into my rating. Play, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to say this is like an eight, an eight. I mean, maybe even nine. This is really good. Which one is it, eight or nine? Nine. It's a nine. I think I'm gonna agree with you. It's a nine. I think nine is good because this is different. Most hazies, like I said, they kind of lack that hop resin dry. Bitter aftertaste. You not you don't really pick up on those hops as much as you would with other hazies. I think this is like the best of both worlds with the hazy. You're still getting that West Coast style, but you're also getting a little bit of uh, like a New England IPA influence. Mm, okay. With the yeah. fruity tropical flavor. Yep, yep. So I think nine is a good rating. Um, I'm gonna recommend this, guys. This is good. If you see this, pick it up. 21st Amendment, the availability, um, around here at least, um, it's not that great. I don't really see it too often. We definitely like to see it more often. I like to see a lot more beers from this brewery. They make some pretty good stuff. The, uh, was it Ride or Die IPA? 
Yeah. That was really good. That was, that was good about too. the same one. How about High Watermelon? Did a review on that. It was a watermelon wheat beer. That one's really good as well. They have the mango wheat beer. Yeah, I've never had that one. They had that at the store, though. Yep, same yep. place you got this. That would probably be a good pickup. It's still there. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend picking this up. Um, I'm guessing it's right around at least 8 to $10 for a six-pack. Definitely say it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, very drinkable for a hazy IPA. Um, it's definitely light to medium mouthfeel. It's not as filling. Um, but you do get all those flavors from a New England and a West Coast. But it's not as hoppy. It's not as bitter. It's not as fruity and citrusy as most West Coast. And it's not as tropical as New England's. So it's like, like I said, it's like right in between. Yeah. But it also, it, but, but being that way, it also makes it very drinkable. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I, th I think it's just fantastic. Everybody should give it a shot. Whether you're a hop head or if you like uh, IPAs that aren't super strong as far as hops. Like, I mean, hop scale, I would probably say on oh, three and a half. I'm going to give it around like two and a half out of two and a half going towards three out of five. Yep. And then sweetness. It's got some good sweetness. Fruity, tropical. Yeah. Um, I'd say about... Probably the same. Two and a half. Going towards three. Yeah. It's definitely not super sweet, right? Yeah, it's not as sweet as that party cake we just no, had. No, It's really good, like though. Sugar. It's definitely something that I would recommend to, I mean, anybody that is looking for a new beer or something that they should pick up. Yeah. I do really enjoy this. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, I really enjoy a lot of the 21st Amendment beers. Um, most of the time when I see them, I'm not that into them. Uh, excuse me, but everything I've tried by them is really good. Uh, I don't know if I say carbonation. Carbonation is about medium. You realize <laughs> carbonation when you start burping. After you start no. drinking it, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to recommend this one. We both said 9 out of 10. Really good beer. Really good. Um, anything else you want to say about this? Uh, uh, give it a shot. I mean, try it out. Your it's definitely song. worth it. It's not yeah. going to let you down. And a lot of these brands that you don't see too often, most of the time they put out some really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even if they're not as available as others. Like I said to you, brand when, we, um, when we have the Hello High Water, I've never heard or seen this brand before. Hello High and Watermelon? Or the Ride or Die? Oh, the Ride or Die. Yeah, the, the Ride or Die, die. IP. Yeah, yeah, we did that yeah, together. And I was yeah, the like, Hello I've High Watermelon. Never, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never so heard or great. seen of this brand. And this is an amazing beer. And yet, this is another great beer by them. They do those 19.2 ounce stovetop watermelon, uh, Hello High Watermelon beers. I think they're like two fifty. Well, that's not awful. Stove top can, so I'm gonna have to bring over a couple of those. We'll do like a duo revisited because I actually really do like that beer. That would be cool. I'm a big fan of that beer. I actually saw a six pack the other day at a store that was a little bit more expensive than other stores, and usually I can only find it in the nineteen point two ounce can, um, but they had six packs for around like nine fifty. I think just still a good price. Yeah, yeah, you know. But uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like seeing on the channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Cheers.